hello hello welcome back to my channel guys dying to diy it's me camaro and first things first big shout out to cricut for sponsoring this video they sent me some of their products to test and try out for you guys and you know make a couple of projects to share with all of my amazing subscribers so before i jump right into that i first want to show you what i will be making for this video and here it is this sign says we're going to be the greatest love story this town has ever seen and i thought it was just super cute it has a really cute like farmhouse vibe to it i love this quote if you listen to country music i'm a big country music fan and this is a lyric from a recent country song so hopefully you know it if not it's still just really cute on its own all right well let's get to it so first I just started by opening design space on my computer and I just started by opening a couple of text boxes. I kind of grouped, you know, some words together and then I just kind of did um, maybe one word in its own little box and so forth. This is just me kind of playing around with it. This is just kind of my process that I go through. I kind of have an idea in my mind of how I want it to look and I just play around with it until I get that, you know, that idea to come to life. So after I made the little um, little text box groups, I just went in and started playing with the fonts a little bit. I knew that I wanted to have two different fonts for this sign, so I'm just playing around with some of my favorite fonts. I always keep a list like next to me and I always write down, you know, oh, I really love that font. Like I don't want to forget the name of it. So I always keep a list just so I can go back in, back in and, um, you know, find those fonts easily. So here I'm just playing around with the placements of each of the little groups of words, deciding which words I want to have in the cursive writing and um, which words I want to have in just the regular, like, you know, straight font. Um, and I did end up using DTC Sahara Smooth for the cursive text. And then I used DTC Porch Chair just for the other font that I used in this sign. So I'm just... Again, regrouping the words, I decided, you know, to have we're going to be in one line and then the greatest in the next line. And then love story this town has for one line and then ever seen on the bottom. And here I'm just showing you how I kind of got to that. Like I said, I just come up with an, like, an idea in my mind and I just kind of go for it. So I... But obviously I'm measuring this to the sign that I'm gonna be working on. So that's why I kind of changed the groups of um, words that were together. You just always wanna make sure you have measurements of the piece that you're working on, just so you know how big to make each of your words or if you're using an image and whatnot. You just wanna make sure you size it correctly. You don't want it to be too small on your project or too big to where it doesn't even fit on there at all. <laughs> So once I was happy with, you know, the placement and the sizing and the fonts for each of the groups of words, I grouped everything together so that way I could size it all at the same time according to the canvas piece that I was going to be working on. So once that was done, I just hit make it and we're going to click continue and then it's going to bring up a screen that asks you, you know, what kind of um, material are you using? Are you going to be using the mat or not? And really cool with the Cricut Joy, they have like smart products so you don't even need the mat. It just works on the vinyl or, you know, the iron-on vinyl, whatever you have, which is probably one of my favorite features. I just love that you don't have to, you know, double it up on the mat or cut it. You can just cut it right from the roll that the vinyl comes on. And I'm going to be using permanent smart vinyl in the color black. And I'm just sliding it under, to, under the little grooves on the Cricut Joy. It's going to ask you to load that material and the joy just make sure that your material is long enough to fit the project that you're about to cut. So if it's not, it'll ask you to reload it again with more material. Oh my gosh, more material. But if it is good to go, then it will allow you to click go. And that's when it will start making all of its cuts and it goes through the whole process from 0% to 100%. So it will let you know how much it has done, you know, how much it's done cutting and it's just going to keep going until it reaches 100%. And like I mentioned before, I just really like that you can just cut it directly on the roll of you know, smart vinyl that you have. I think that it's a really cool feature of the Joy. You don't have to load it onto the mat as well. So easy and so convenient. And then once it's done, you just 
unload it and then you're you know exactly where to make your cut so you don't make it too short or you know too big so once it is done you're just going to hit complete and that way it's going to unload the vinyl for you and then you can just pull it right out of the machine and there you go it has all of our cuts ready to go so once that is done i'm just going to make the cut to separate it from the rest of the vinyl and unfortunately i tried to record this part twice i don't know what was going on with my brain but i missed the process of pulling the whole background of the vinyl off and i'm telling you i printed this twice and i still somehow forgot to hit record twice so forgive me for that but i'm just doing the weeding process and you know just pulling the background off because obviously we don't need all that black space we just want the letters and the font so i'm weeding everything out and then i'm cutting it down so it can fit on the transfer tape just a little bit better and then i'm just cutting the transfer tape to fit the size of where you know i made the cuts just to fit around the fonts that i have and then i'm using my mat just to kind of keep everything in place so that way it's easier for me to add the transfer tape on top of the vinyl so once i have my transfer tape added to each of my pieces i'm just taking the cricut scraper tool and i flip those pieces over somebody had recommended to me that it is much easier to get the vinyl to adhere to the transfer tape that way so i've just been trying to do that so once i was done doing that i'm just cutting apart the groups of words that go together Together just to make it easier to place on my little piece that I'll be working on and what I'm working on is this flat canvas from Dollar Tree it's an 11 by 14 really cool it's just canvas material but it's on like a flat board it doesn't have like the frame or anything like that so this is what I will be transferring my words to but first I'm taking these paint stir sticks and I'm just measuring them to fit across the top and the bottom of this uh, canvas board and once I've made my marks and I know where to cut I just took it to the garage and used my electric saw to make those cuts I first started out with this dark walnut color. I was going for dark <laughs> and this dark walnut color was, you know, not as dark as I had imagined. So I then used this gel stain in the color Kona and that was definitely the dark, I, you know, the darkness I was going for. So I'm just taking my cheesecloth and, you know, covering the fronts of the paint stir sticks because the back doesn't really matter, but the fronts and then the sides of each of those. And it's so beautiful. I love that color so much. So once they were done, I gave them a little bit of time to dry so they weren't super sticky. I'm just going to be using my E6000 hot glue combo. I'm adding a little bit of E6000 and then I'm putting the hot glue around the E6000. The hot glue is a really fast adhere and then the E6000 is like more stronger adhere. More, more of a stronger bond. <laughs> anyway, so I did that to both of the paint stir sticks, added one to the top and one to the bottom of the canvas in a horizontal like length, you know, rather than being vertical. This sign is starting to come together and looking super cute already, but I'm just going to take it one step further before I add my words, and I'm just going to add a beaded hanger to the top. So I'm taking these raw wooden beads that I've ordered from Amazon and just some Dollar Tree jute twine, and I'm just kind of gauging it, you know, to my likeness of, you know, how long I wanted to it to be so once I was happy with the length I'm just gonna tie it off and then glue it to the back and I'm also going to be using my stapler because I just want to make sure that it's nice and secure and it's not gonna you know fall off the back of the sign and whatnot so here it is with its little beaded hanger so so cute and now it is just time to play around with the placements of my words and where I wanted them to go I'm using my tape measure as well just to kind of make sure I get everything kind of centered. This is just the look that I was going for. And I started at the bottom and then kind of worked my way from the top um, into the middle. So that way I felt like things would be centered easier by doing it that way. So once I was done, you know, placing everything down, I'm just kind of eyeball it and make sure things are kind of where I need them to be and things are straight. Once they are, I'm just using my Cricut scraper tool um, to adhere the vinyl to the canvas piece. And then I'm just, you know, pulling off the transfer tape off of each of those little segments. And I do want to say that, you know, definitely take your time, make sure that you used your Cricut tool and scraped everything, you know, to adhere that vinyl to your project piece, because here you will see that I ripped off part of the S on has, but that's okay. I'm just using one of my weeding tools and I'm weeding it off the transfer tape. And then I'm just going to place it back, you know, as best I can 
um, in its original place where it was. So it all works out in the end, but just take your time and make sure that everything is nice and adheres, adhered <laughs> to your project piece. All right, guys, and here's how it turned out. So, so cute. I love it. I think, you know, possibilities are endless. You can color the paint stir sticks different color. You can color the wooden beads. Obviously, you can make the sign say whatever you want. Um, this is just what I wanted my sign to say, and I could not be happier with it. So, so cute. So, you guys will definitely have to let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. Do you picture yourself making a sign like this? What would you make your sign say? Um, also, again, shout out to Cricut for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.